Hello, hello. Today I'm going to show you five different ways of copying an object in AutoCAD. First technique and the most used technique is by typing COP for copy and press and press enter. Right click, select your object, right click, press enter and you can uh, click in the center of your object on the center of your object and you can paste it as many times as you want to wherever you want to second technique is pretty much the same as the previous one except a very small change towards the end so cop press enter right click select your object right click press enter grab your object and now you have two boxes so in the first box you press a on your keyboard and you press enter and now you have enter number of items to array so let's say if you want to have five copies of uh, the object in total you type five you press five on your keyboard and you press enter and now there are two boxes again here the first one is for a spacing and the next one is for the angle uh, of the number of copies with respect to x-axis so let's say we're going to have 20 millimeters of spacing and we're going to have uh, 15 degrees angle with x-axis and then you press enter and there you have it so you escape you press escape and you have five objects at 15 degrees angle uh, shown here so next option is to use uh, array function the array function itself has got three options in it rectangular array path array and polar array first we're going to look at the rectangular array so you type ar press enter right click select your object right click press enter choose rectangular and now you have uh, three by four copies so if you click here this you can you can actually dynamically increase the number of rows and columns um, so it's it's actually kind of stuck here so anyway so um, but if you click here you can actually increase um, so you can increase or decrease the number of rows here so uh, if you click here you can only increase or decrease the number of columns so if you click here you can adjust the spacing of the columns and if you click here you can adjust the spacing of the rows so and you can actually move your entire copy by selecting this point here and move it wherever you want to so and if you press enter take a look at this object here it's going to automatically disappear so um, next option is in situation where you want to have a few copies along a line uh, this would be very helpful you can either use it like use it along a normal line or a curved line so again you type ar press enter select your object press enter select path and then now it says select path curve so you select your path and there you go it keeps orientation the same as the original object and now you have a blue uh, uh, a square here if you click on it you can uh, increase the number of rows and if you click on this triangle this is like actually like an arrow so this is the beginning of the arrow this is like the end of the arrow if you move it outward it's going to increase the number of um, so it's going to increase the spacing and if you go backward it's going to decrease the spacing so last option is if you want 
to show a conference room and you draw a um, circle to show your conference table and you have you have drawn a chair on one side of the table on the side of the table so you use again array function you select your object and press enter and now you select polar and sometimes the center of the circle doesn't show up you have to go over um, the perimeter of the circle and it's going to show the center of the circle or you can actually click on the perimeter of the circle is going to do the same thing when you click on it by default it's going to make six copies of that object around that circle so if you hover over um, this arrow uh, the tip of that arrow is going to show the angle between the number of uh, sorry the angle between the copies so the maximum allowable angle is going to be 60 degrees for, for instance if I if I let's say let's say let's say if I select 60 de 120 degrees right and if I press enter it's going to keep it at 60 degrees so um, however you can actually reduce that spacing by clicking on that and let's say you want to do 30 degrees and you press enter there you have it so now you have another arrow shows up here so you can actually move that around and that's going to increase the number of uh, your objects so uh, that's going to basically um, you can increase the number of your chairs and also first you have to decrease the angle between the two and then that way you can have enough space to increase the number of chairs for example um, and if you click here you can increase or decrease the radius of um, the, uh, the, uh, the radius of your copies so you can go outward it's going to increase it if you go inwards it's going to decrease um, the radius so now if I click here I can actually move the entire copy anywhere that I want to uh, but I want to keep it at the same place so I escape out of that and now I can press enter and there you have it so that has been the five different ways of copying an object in AutoCAD. I hope that has been helpful.